GMG Morning Quickie, Kirk Cousins bad? So frustrating. <laughs> so frustrating. You got, at some point, you got to have a little Randall Cunningham and a little Jeff George in you and throw that f- thing, dude. Let it go. Yeah, but he can't adjust for the situation. It's like, if, if can't. we're... He can't. He doesn't know when to play conservative. If we're like, maybe what we're... That? What was that? What seconds drive? left? You're at your own end zone, and you throw an interception. What was that drive when we were out at midfield and we got a crack back block or something? A chop block? Yes. yes. Right, when it, right when it happens, my thought is... Whack, whack, whack. We'll drive Dive over. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you know what they should have done with, the with, next with, play? With with Russell Wilson or Mahomes, you know, second and 22 is nothing. But with the Vikings, man, you're asking for a f-ing miracle. No, when that happened, the next play should have been dialed up to go deep. <laughs> when they got down first and goal on the opening drive, they should have threw that fucker on first down. They should have. That would have been a statement. That tells your defense we're here to play. You know, I don't know what the outcome would have been, but the Kirk whole start, <laughs> the whole start would have been better. Kirk would have been better. Touchdown pass would have been better. Seven nothing would have been better. But they got down there and they didn't have the onions to f-ing do it. They ran two plays that weren't going to score up the middle because the Colts knew we were going to do it, and then that overthrow thing over the goalpost that. <laughs> <laughs> Denver Mafia. It, dude, I don't want to hear and, about the Denver Mafia. I don't want to hear. And Drew, I'm telling you, and David, I'm telling you, this this could start going the other way, where Kubiak's just like, oh, I don't have the quarterback I need to run this thing, so I'm gonna start loading up on Dalvin Cook. Sure, Ooh. sure, yeah, that can happen because like, you can't have your quarterback throw three interceptions like that and then expect the play caller to go out there and trust the guy like nothing ever happened that's oh. it's not how it works yeah you, if you start getting the disconnect right now between cousins and kubiak it could get a lot worse than what it is now yeah oh and it could be, we could look forward could be, to that it could be <laughs> ugly but you know what it's i don't know uh. it's certainly this is, certainly isn't what we thought after two weeks what well, we're down to 12 percent to get to the playoffs now Just look competitive look yeah, competitive oh no. and two but competitive I I said I said eight and eight before the season started. The f- score north was drawing pictures of me on the wall with a knife in my head. They hated me. Everybody hated me. The people <laughs> Gallahorn hated me because I said eight and eight. Eight and eight ain't looking so crazy now, is it? No, eight and eight's looking good. <laughs> and I, I, At that point, so, I'd rather go three and thirteen. So the Packers today went down fourteen to three in the fourth qu- in the first quarter. Yeah. How many points did they score today? 40, 42 to 21 was the final. Can you imagine Kirk Cousins down 14 <laughs> to 3 in the first quarter? <clears throat> Can you imagine? Oh. That's, that's the entire issue. Uh-uh. It is the entire issue. At some, you got to have a, a switch in your head that is a playmaking switch where you alone say, I'm going to be the guy that makes the play. I'm going to be the guy that makes the play. You know, sometimes you got to have that. You can't just. Yeah. He doesn't. He, he, he can't calculate risks. He, when it's, he when he it's 28 to 3, though, time. 28 to 3, he puts together a good drive. Every f- time. <laughs> Every time. You notice that? We drove right down the field. Yeah, right down. Always. Oh, right down. Time, dude. <laughs> Why? Have them Why? stats. Woo. Well. All right, y'all. They can, they can shut everybody up with a big win over a. What you said, two and zero Titan team? Yeah, yeah. Tennessee's two and zero. Tannehill's the real deal. He's so, just a so late coach. Yeah, their, their coach has played. They've had a coach for two seasons, and he's already been in three playoff games in two seasons. Well, obviously, so is Indy's coach. Who beat ours? Off? Has been in how many has ever been in three, four? What? Four? Six years. As what yeah, head five. coach? Yeah, this five. is his sixth season. Yeah. So five. Vrabel's got three in a little over thirty games. <laughs> They're gonna have to figure something out. They're gonna have to figure something out. They're gonna have to figure it out fast, or it's gonna be ugly. Less Steckle. We're going back to eighty-two or something now. I don't think it'll be that bad, but it's not gonna be good. Whatever it is, it won't be good.
<laughs> well, I'll see you guys next week. It's been fun. Dude, yeah, I bet you Ted Glover's just highly right now. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get a hold of Ted, Dave, this afternoon. All right. Call him, show he's at the house. Flip. Hey, hey, thank you guys for being on. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Thank you for watching or listening. As always, if you like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. And if you're listening to the podcast, please rate us on your favorite aggregator. Skull, everybody.